Okay, let's start the week two tasks. First, I'm going to show you about pages. We'll start Axia RP. Remember, open the file you made last week so you can keep working on that iteratively. I won't be doing that all of the time um, because sometimes I want you to concentrate just on the uh, widgets that I'm using of that week, but this week I am working on the week one. I'll go File, Save As and we'll call that sample week two. You, of course, don't need to call it sample. This is just because I'll be putting this up on the web for you to access. So sample week two, and you'll be working on week two. Now, if you remember how we first opened it, the first page by default was page one. And as I said, it's really good practice, if I just zoom in here, it's good practice to name your pages as they will be on your website, um, just so that you can easily organize everything. So I always name the home page index. Um, if you are going to export the HTML as a final site, it's really important that your home page is called index. If it's just going to go on Axia Share or go to a developer, not so important. You can just call it home, but I'm calling it index here and I would like you to do the same. So how do we add new pages? I can go to the plus button here and add a page. And let's say um, we're going to have four pages four main pages and it might be index, it might be um, beach, you'll see if beach is its main draw card, um, it might be um, places to eat, what we call that, cafes and restaurants, so I'll just put restaurants um, and it might be recreation. Okay. So I've got four pages that I've created this way. There are other ways to create pages though. So um, here we might, if you right click, I can go add and we can create a page after or page before. I can also create a child page. I'll show you what that is right now. Page after or page before is exactly what we were doing beforehand. It just changes the order in which they appear. Uh, just say I don't want that, right click, delete. So let's add one, a child page, and call it the foreshore because there's a, a lot of a nature reserve on the foreshore there. So I'll just go child page, and you see how this goes down a level. And that means that this belongs to the beach page. I might have another one that will have add child page and we might call it wildlife. Okay, great. And for a visualization of this, if I create a, um, a menu, these will probably be a drop down menu from the beach. It will be a child menu of beach. These are the main pages and I can hide those and just keep my main pages with this little arrow here. So this is how you add and move the page, add the pages. Uh, to move the pages, all I need to do is click and drag. So you can see with that circle where it's going to add it. You can see that that has added it as a child page. I need to drag it to the left if I want it to be on the same level. If it's dragged to the right, um, it becomes a child page. Okay, I'm just putting that back where it belongs. So you can rearrange your pages as needed. Okay, so that shows you how to control the pages. In the next video, I'll show you how you can link between the pages.